What's up folks and welcome back to the garage. Today I will give you some updates about our Saab 99 EMS. We still have some issues with the Saab. Um, I'll get back to the engine quite soon, but before that I will show you that I have taken the seat off, uh, belts off, and the communication system is off. Um, we had a brake issue also because the rear, st uh, rear tires didn't spin. And uh, if you have watched my earlier videos, you know that I uh, fixed the rear calibers quite, quite properly, but still the tires were stuck. And then I noticed that this handbrake, um, as you can see, the main, it doesn't move. So I think this cylinder is stuck. And uh, I made a, a bypass because this brake line normally comes here and then there's a short uh, uh, brake line that goes there so I just took this brake line and uh, bypassed this valve so now suddenly the rear rear tires are not stuck anymore so I can even move the car sitting here on the floor so now it's uh, much easier to move the Saab. <laughs> so I have to um, take this off also and uh, I will first I will try to uh, fix it. But if it's uh, uh, corroded or damaged, then I just have to buy a new one. But now we can much easily move a Saab. Uh, and about the radio or the communication system, <clears throat> I have it here. And um, that main unit is working like it should be, but, and uh, this headset is working also, but uh, I think we have a pro problem with uh, another headset because I can hear, hear it, but um, the cold driver doesn't hear me, so there's a. I think there's must uh, must be some some kind of failure, <clears throat> or I think uh, some connection has failed. So I I try to fix that, or then I have to buy a new headset. Uh, but I let you know what's <laughs> what's going on, uh, and I have a small tire so but I will get back in that too just a sec we still have the issue with the engine it starts like a dream and the idle is okay but the torque is missing totally I even changed the old injectors and these fuel lines but it's still still the same um, then I called a specialist. There's a guy called Seppo Harinen in Finland. He's uh, uh, he's the he's the man. <laughs> and I probably I will take this car uh, to his shop, and I think it will take like five minutes that he will solve the problem. But he uh, advised me to check the camp timing. But as you can see, there's the timing mark there's the zero it's lined up rotor is pointing to the first cylinder and uh, you can see the cam mark is just on the spot so it's not that either there might be some problems with uh, fuel air mixture but uh, I don't have the equipment or the knowledge how to how to adjust this car so I think I will let Seppos to do his magic <laughs> uh, 
Uh, next I will put the valve cover back on and I, uh, I will start the engine and I will drive this car out of the carriage because uh, my next project is coming in today. It's not, uh, it, actually it's not a new project and you will see it on the next video, but it's my, my first car, um, m my first hobby car or my first project car. It's Volvo 142. Uh, from year 1968 uh, I have had it in my my parents house but they wanted to <laughs> they wanted me to pick it up it has been there like 20 years so I understand and I understand them perfectly um, but before that I have to clean this tire these tire piles um, as you can see I have the tire tower there so first I will I think I will put those tires which I bought a few years ago for my V70 Volvo which I don't have anymore but my first idea was to use these wheels on this uh, but uh, they don't fit uh, the bolts fits perfectly, but uh, the caliper hits the wheel, so I, I can't use this one. Uh, so I think I will put those up there, and then I will move the Chevy's uh, summer tires downstairs, and I think I will put my, my dailies tire on that first or second floor, and also my trailer's tire there. And these old Volvo winter tires I will put maybe on the on the highest or the, the next level, I think. <laughs> That's the plan. But I have to fix this before uh, I can bring my my old new Volvo in. As you can see, there's also some boxes on the table. This just came from Scandix. I can tell you that there's some something for my Volvo and there's another package this is from US parts and there's uh, some parts for the Chevy but I will do a video about those later so don't worry <laughs> so next I will put the valve cover back on and then I will drive the Saab out of the carriage Now I have room for my, my new project. I just have to clean there's some uh, gearbox oil on the floor from Saab, so I have to clean that first out. Uh, and then we have to figure out where it's still leaking, the gearbox. I think it's from the rear, but I'm not so sure yet. But I will figure out that later. Uh, but thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. And comments down below that would be a great and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do it right away almost 200 subscribers already so that's a great thing um, thanks for watching and then in next next <laughs> and in the next video I will show you my new project and I will try to reverse it into the garage uh, there's no engine so I hope I can 
drop it straight from the trailer to here. There's a tire still <laughs> on the car, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, but you will see that later. Thanks for watching and see you soon!